I wonder what we'll have to cook. Hmm, I want french fries. French fries? Well, that's easy. French fries? Well, never mind. I can do that. Okay, it's easy. Let's go. Oh. Uh, fine. Come on, stupid potato. Ugh. Ow! How painful! Do that again and I'll get you! It was her! Grandma! Yeah! What? Hey, you're cutie! Now we'll cut everything up quickly. Like this. We'll put everything here. And add a little bit of oil. And don't forget about seasonings! We still need to add spices! No, that's enough! Well, the only thing left is to put it in the oven. Only a true professional knows how to work with potatoes. See? Perfect slices! How beautiful and smooth they are! Just like that. And let's add seasonings. Mmm, what a delicious smell. The only thing left is to fry them properly. Yeah, almost done. Yeah. It smells great. Toaster is fast and efficient. Come on, we agree on that, right? The only thing left is to wait a little bit. And... Yay, got it! My french fries are ready. Here I am. Now, let's put the potato on the plate. Ah, so appetizing. Just sprinkle with herbs. Mmm, it smells wonderful. Ah, just look at her. Here I have a real potato and real french fries. And the finishing touch is the sauce. Just choose. Wow, how many french fries! Let's start with this one. Strange. Let's measure it. Well, just like the norm, I can eat it. Whoa, how delicious! So good. Yeah. Now this one. Mmm, very good. I think I'll eat it again. Hmm, very cool. Now... Ooh, how beautiful it looks! Hmm, what a golden one! Let's dip it in the sauce! Hmm, yummy stuff! Ooh! Wow, this is awesome! I approve! I choose this french fries! Ooh, so good! <laughs> My french fries won! However, I knew it! Envy and Silas losers! And now, I want scrambled eggs! Okay! Good! Nice! Uh, oh, easy! Oh no! Oh no! It crashed! Oh, so I'll quickly get the whole shell out of there. Ow, ow, hot! Ew. Okay. Fine, it's gonna be fine. Everything is possible, right? Let's add some salt. No! Oh, why am I so unlucky today? Oh no. Now it's burning! Oh, let's cover, let's cover it. Like that. Oh, that's better. Okay, you have to do it calmly. Stir the eggs, add milk. Well, that's great. Now you stir. Oh, what's wrong with my hand? Uh, 
Let me help you. Ah! Uh... <laughs> I can't even joke now, or what? Why are you so serious? So now you add some salt. Pour everything into the frying pan. Just like that. Hold this, baby. See how our famous chef is doing. Look at that. First, we add some water. Nice. You need to boil it. And then you get a special package. Break the egg. Just like that. Now we close it and lower it into the water. And wait. So beautiful. Ooh, it's time. It's time to get the egg. Just like that. We put it on the plate. Sprinkle with salt. Ooh, la, la. Wonderful. Oh, and I'll sprinkle my dish with herbs. And I'll add tomatoes. Wow, it looks super delicious, Grandma. And what happened to your eggs, baby? Mine? Oh, I completely forgot. Oh no, what a horror. A nightmare. What is it? I've never seen anything worse. We're ready. Well, let's see what we have here. Uh, something unpleasant. Uh, I won't even taste it. And this one. Hmm. What? Did it? Ah, I don't like that. What is this, yolk? <coughs> Ew, no, not for me. And what's that? Looks very appetizing. And smells very good, too. And so delicious. This one, I choose this one. Me? Did you really choose me? Yeah, I won. Oh, something caught my back. Uh, I want a milkshake in this round. Milkshake, then. What could be simpler than a milkshake? That ugly no. glass? No. Here is our size. Ooh, Haribo bears. Just put it there. And some chips. And let's add some Coca-Cola. Mmm, I can't wait to try it myself. Wow. We're going to mix everything up now. Yeah, so cool. Pour the milk. Then some chocolate bar. Mmm, Hershey's so good. So delicious. And then we stir constantly. The chocolate will melt. And it tastes so good. Let's put it in the mug. Hooray! Ugh. And now let's add some marshmallows on top. I know that my granddaughter loves them so much. Last touch. Look at this, so cool. Yeah, not really. Let's pour some syrup on the glass. Now ice cream. <laughs> and put it in the blender. Wow. Some Nutella. And delicious milk. And cover all this and mix it up. Ready. We pour what we got into a glass. Decorate with vanilla foam. And Oreo. Some chocolate chips. And chocolate balls. Just perfect. Ooh, la, la. Ooh I wouldn't mind Ooh, tasting wow. that. Come on. We are ready. Wow, how many delicious things. Uh, something strange. What's that? <laughs> Ew, what a mess. Ooh, how cute. <gasps> what delicious marshmallows! Mmm. Mm. <sighs> and how delicious it is itself! <gasps> wow, it looks awesome. And the taste is just as awesome as the look! Ooh, it's Oreo! 
yummy. I give the victory to this milkshake. Yes, yes, I knew it. Well, how insulting. I tried so hard. That's it. I want this jelly. Jelly, I can do it. Just take gelatine. More sugar. And of course, water. Let's mix it up. There should be a lot of good jelly. Of all tastes and colors. This form is perfect. Well, we will fill the first layer. And I'll add homemade <laughs> strawberry jam from grandma to my wow. jelly. Mixing it up. Doing it well. Now I need something from my purse. False teeth. No. Knitting kit? Not either. And here is my mold. Yes. That's where I'll pour my jelly. Oh no, I'm going to sneeze. Oh shit! My glasses! I can't see anything at all. I'll put the jelly in the refrigerator. Then I'll look for them. Where am I? It's hot in here. And how it's cold here. Ah! And now it's really damp. Gelatine? Well, no, marmalade is better. Hello, Mr. Bear. You ain't my friend. I'm sorry, Mr. Bear. Now I'll put you all in the plate. And I'll try one. Okay, fine, I'd rather not. A little here, here, and here. Yeah, more. Something is missing. Oh, for sure, strawberries will perfectly complement my marmalade cube. Cool. Oh, that was great. And now, other layers. Beauty, the only thing left to decorate with strawberries, and it's perfect. Now this delicious cream. I will decorate each layer. Doing it like a pro. And a couple more strawberries on the top. Perfect. Ah, oh, grandma's back. Grandma, wait. Here are your glasses. Is that better? Oh, thank you, Ben. You're such a good boy. <laughs> what kind of plants are these? The only thing left to lay out the jelly. Let's see. Yeah. Paige, what do you think? Wow, so much jelly. Where to start? I'll start with this cube. These are marmalade bears. I love them. I'll take the whole cube at once. Hey, they're scattered. And the cube is empty. It won't do. Let's try grandma's jelly. It's so elastic. Even too elastic. I need a fork. Oh, you can't even pierce it. Okay, I'll have to work with my hands. But what's inside? Grandma, are these your glasses? Ah, uh, ew. All right, jelly cake, it's your time. How funny it shakes. Let's try it. Mmm, jelly. Strawberry and cream go so well together. Tina, you've won, and I want more. Well, how could it be otherwise? Well, well, now I want ice cream. Can you handle it? That's right, it's easy. Milk from a bottle? Well, no, I need the freshest ingredients. Hello, cow, thanks for the fresh milk. Now I will mix this milk with sugar in my professional mixer. 
I'll pour it into mold and insert sticks. Let's put the mold in the bowl and get something out of my suitcase. Liquid nitrogen will instantly freeze ice cream. Aw, Tina, you're complicating things again. Watch and learn. We'll put the ice cream aside. And in the meantime, we'll make waffles from milk, sugar, flour, and eggs. Mix it well together. And pour the dough into the waffle iron. Wait a bit. And while the waffle is still hot, we make a cone out of it. Just in this shape. Ah, perfect. And now I'll take the ice cream to the refrigerator. Let it harden for now. Just wait a bit. Milk? It's too complicated. Oh, that's right. I have an idea. I'll take Sprite and stick a wand in it. Now I'll freeze it in the refrigerator. Grandma, did you fall asleep? What? What? Oh, I dozed off. Thanks for waking me up, Ben. My ice cream is frozen. And I'll freeze mine. Oh, perfect popsicle. The perfect one was in my childhood. And this one is, ah, oh, fine. Okay, Grandma, the only thing left is to cover my popsicle with icing and small decorations to give them the look of cute animals. Paige will definitely like it. Oh, I know what Paige likes. Now I'm going to make a few balls out of my ice cream. Just what you need. Oh. And the ice cream itself really turned out delicious. <laughs> Do you want to try it, Ben? Sorry, Grandma, I'm busy. It's not coming out. Oh, I hadn't thought of it at all. Although, I'll just got the bottle with a chainsaw. Remove the axes and my ice cream is ready. Huh, cool. Help yourself, Paige. Wow, that's great. And what is this? Heavy. It seems not bad. Oh, it fell and broke. Oops, too much of a Persian. Which popsicle to choose? Wow, let there be a pig. Hmm, it's so delicious and very cute. And what does grandma have? Wow, like in my drawing. It tastes even better than I imagined. Grandma, this is definitely a victory. Oh, yes. Well, take a bite, Tina. Don't worry, Ben. And now I want marshmallows. Isn't it cute? Again, something incomprehensible. But there will surely be something in my recipe book. Pie, scrambled eggs. Hmm. I think I need chocolate. And of course, marshmallows. I'll put the first layer of chocolate and a layer of marshmallows on top. Ah, oh, we needed a whole pack. Now I need an oven. Oh no! Oh. Thanks, Ben. You saved me and my dish. I'll be more careful. I'll put the mold in the oven. Need to wait. Hmm. What do I have to do right now? Oh, that's right. I'll watch my favorite TV series on TV. Ah, oh, so funny. Uh, what should I do with marshmallows? I have an idea. Now I'm going to make a rabbit out of it. Now I'll draw eyes and mouth. It's perfect! Oh, I'll cook everything myself. 
Mix gelatin with sugar and water and beat them well. I'll put it in a syringe and pour it inside the tubes. What color should I choose? Still red. I'll add it to the remains of the liquid marshmallow and mix it again. The color is what you need. And now, I'll use the syringe again. Here are the marshmallow braids with your own hands. Look at this, so beautiful. The only thing left is to glue them together into one big rope. Absolutely perfect! Ooh, what is this? Why is this marshmallow so long? Tina twists marshmallows into a snail? Well, that's cool. I think I can try it. Uh, uh, I didn't get anything. The perfect spiral. By the way, where is Grandma? Well, that's right. Where is she? Oh, what a tragic series. I can't watch anymore. <laughs> but my marshmallows are ready. It's time to bring them to Paige. Hmm, what a fragrance. Wow, what a cute rabbit. What an interesting pie. And what a steep spiral. I'll start with it. It's so big. Mmm, and delicious. Very delicious. And now, Grandma's pie. Wow, they're so stringy and go so well with chocolate. Mmm, Grandma, this is very tasty. Ah, oh, Granny, it's so good. Cool. Oh, so small. Just little rabbits here. So cute. And so delicious. Oh, yeah, very delicious. Ben, this time the victory is yours. For cuteness. Oh, yeah, I want. I can't resist the sweetness. So, first of all, I want a cake like this. As in this picture. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay, cake, I'm a master at this. Uh, oh, what? Ah, cake. I'll make it now, granddaughter. All you need is a little flour, a couple of eggs. Well, we're without milk, right? Now is I need the door. Oh, what a beauty. Isn't it, Maggie? Why the door if there are already ready-made cakes? Look how perfect they are. Well, it's not homemade. Store-bought? What's going on? Okay, uh, whatever you want. In the meantime, my professional mixer will beat the doll for me. Yeah, that's what you need. Divide it into five equal parts. And now we need to add colors. I'll put on gloves and knead the doll well. Oh yeah, now every cake will be unique. Hmm, big deal, my cake will also be unique. Especially with peanut butter. We'll spread it on the first layer. Then on the second one too. Just like this. Mmm, you can't even taste it. So beautiful and so delicious. Now the third one. Mm, I want some more. What a fragrance. Oh, so good. Maggie, what are you doing? Don't do that. Better look at what homemade jam I have. I think I'll pour the whole jar into my pie. Oh, what beauty. And here is my branded mesh doll. 
look at that. Wonderful. And what a fragrance. It's time for you to go to the oven. That's it. Just for a while, Grandma takes a nap. And here are my layers ready. It's time to collect the cake. I will use each layer with my signature colored cream. And the colors will match the colors of the layers. Decorate with the cream outside. And now you need to level it with a special spatula. Oh yeah, this cake will be perfect. But that's not all. Now I'm going to make a sweet rainbow. I'll put it on the cake. And see the rainbow. And you can see the unicorn as well. On the sides, I will have clouds and hearts. It seems I have surprised myself. This is perfection. Uh, 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 it's my watch. Uh, it's time to get the pie. Mmm, what a fragrance. It's time to treat Sophie with it. Move over, guys. Grandma's here. Oh, no. They have such beautiful cakes, but mine is absolutely terrible. I've got an idea. I'll decorate it with candy M&Ms. Here, Sophie. Try it soon. Wow, how many cakes? Where to start? One, two, three, yeah, this one. Let's try. Uh, it's kind of dry. You can't do without Coke here. Oh, sorry, Maggie. Wow, that's Grandma's strawberry pie. Mmm, how it smells. And it's so delicious. Grandma, I adore you. Wow, what a beauty this is! I urgently want a piece! Whoa! Wow. It's in rainbow colors even inside! And so tasty! And so tender! And this unicorn! Wow, chef! You've won! He's incomparable! Wow. Oh yeah, I knew my business! Well, well, and now I want popcorn, like in a movie theater. What's that? A popcorn? <laughs> oh, well, I can do that. Here are the cops. Well, that's not it, Grandma. Special grains are needed here, and I have them. I'll prepare the foil vases, and now I will elegantly pour the grains right into them. And of course, oil. Mmm, the freshest. I'll pour the grains, just like that. I'm not going anywhere with that dyes, right? They will give popcorn some uniqueness. This one's here, and this one's here. Let's make a rainbow out of them. It's burner time! Beware of the grains! It's time for you to explode. Oh, that's enough. Let's see what happened. Oh yeah, red popcorn. What do you say, Grandma? How do you like the colors? Ah, these chefs. Everything will be natural from me. Just get the grains within my new flingant gadget. That's it, the bare cup. Now add a little butter to the pan. Although you can do more. I'll smear it and send the corn there. Pour sugar. My Sophie loves sweets very much. Oh, just like that with the lid, and I'll wait. Oh, it seems the process has started. Cranes explode right in the frying pan. Mmm, ready. What a fragrance. It's time to use the secret ingredient. I'll melt marshmallows in the frying pan until they turn into paste. And now I'll put popcorn there. I mix everything thoroughly. I got a sticky ball of popcorn. 
Or rather, as many as five balls of different colors. Ah, uh, it's time to pour the popcorn into the bowl. Well, what a beauty. What have you got there, Sam? Huh? <laughs> Isn't that popcorn? Hey, get it yourself. Come on. Well, just like children, you guys. It's good that I have popcorn that just needs to be heated. Look at that. On the frying pan and it's ready. Oh yeah, no need to strain. Wait a second. What is the smell? What have you got there? What? The smell? Uh-oh. It looks like it's going to explode. Get down! Ah, uh, Maggie, what have you done? Uh, I didn't mean to. It was popcorn. I need to clean it as soon as possible. Has anything survived? Just one? Oops. Sorry, Sophie. I think you're in a diet today. Whoa, so much popcorn. And what is that smell? Oh, ew, what is it? But it burned down. Ew. And here's the real popcorn. Let's try it. Mmm, how sweet. You know everything about me, Grandma. Whoa, what is this? And it stretches. It looks cool. Mmm, and how delicious it is. Just incredible. This popcorn definitely deserved to win. Huh, one more point. I'm the best. And the next dish is pancakes. Can you handle it? What's that? Pancakes? How do I cook them? Uh-oh. It's time to add eggs to the milk. I'll figure it out myself. Well, as you know, and I'll add them. And of course, a little flour. Now I will beat the doll with my professional mixer. I think this round will also be for me. <laughs> it's too early for you to be happy about this. My whisk will do no works. I'm able to stir the dough myself. Yeah, we need to add milk. What else there? Flour, exactly. And eggs. Well, you can do it with a shell, right? Now we need to mix everything up. It seems nothing is complicated. Just some strange dough here. Maybe I'll do it more? So it's time to pour the dough into the pan. That's it. And now we need chocolate paste. I'll spread it on the pancake and I'll cover it with another one on top. Ah, look how beautiful they are. What? What is he doing? And I'll add green here. That's all. The complete set. Let's shake it a little. Like this and like this. Oh, yeah. Ugh, oh, see how I can do it. Granny can do a lot of things. But I can draw with my color test. Now, I will make not just a pancake, but a work of art. Now the final touch, and Sophie's portrait is ready. What? They have everything ready? And I have this strange dough. Okay, just pour it into the pan. Come with me. Well, Sophie, are you hungry already? Moreover, oh, stop it. Oh, uh, you stop it. Ah, haha, -ha, stop you both. Oh no, what is that smell? My pancake is on fire! We urgently need to turn it over! You're going to get it now. What the smell? Oh, Maggie, what have you done again? Oops. I think my pancake is ready. Whoa. How you tried so well. And what a smell. Wait a minute. Has something burned down again? It's Maggie's pancake, of course. It's even scary to look at it. Now it's time for... This pancake is in my portrait? Wow, so amazing! And so delicious! Wait a second. These are grandma's pancakes! 
Oh yes, there's chocolate inside! Just like I love it! They are so delicious and just can't tear yourself away! Grandma, you're simply incomparable here! This is the best dish! Aw, oh, thank you, Sophie! Take a bite, you! What can I cook for you? I want a chicken leg. Nothing complicated. We'll cook you anything you want. What is it made of? Chicken, silly. I know a wonderful recipe for chicken. Add some spices. Mmm, it's gonna be a very tasty dish. Some vegetables. I'll prepare them. The secret of this dish is that the more vegetables you add, the tastier it will turn out. You need to wash everything thoroughly, cut it into large pieces after all. A big piece in the mouth is happy mouth. Just cut some potatoes too. And then proceed to stuffing it. Here is the most important part. I will put all the vegetables in the chicken and they will be back right inside of it. Vegetables can be alternated. I will also put potatoes and carrots in the baking dish. Let them cook separately from the meat. Ah, oh, what a beauty. Now I'll put everything in a well-heated oven. Hmm, I don't like this chicken, but the chicken from KFC is a completely different matter. I'll cook especially spicy with the addition of Tabasco pepper and breadcrumbs from Cheetos. Hmm, this jar is too small. And now I'm going to roll a chicken leg in breadcrumbs. The main thing is to shake the pack. That's it! Then you can put the chicken on the baking sheet with parchment to bake it in the oven. Uh, what was that? What's happening? Before cooking the chicken, we must thoroughly beat it off. Beat with all your might and then it will become all juicy and soft. Now you can cook it. Add oil to the frying pan and fry the fillets on the all sides until they're cooked. Oh, what a delicious chicken I will make. It's ready. Now to pour some oil on it. Just like that. Before serving, I'll smear the chicken with butter. <clears throat> Smells so good. Oh, don't you dare. This is for my granddaughter. Take care of your chicken. That's what I'll do. It's time to put the legs in the oven. How beautiful they turned out. Oh no. Oh! Then added too much of the world's hottest Tabasco pepper. <gasps> I can't. Yeah. Oh, my legs are fried. Now they can be served. I'll put them in a KFC bucket, so just like that in a cafe. Hmm, and I have to get ready. Only a couple of touches to a beautiful dish are missing. Here, now the chicken looks exquisite. Bon appetit. Bah, bah, bah. Try, granddaughter. Hmm, what different dishes turned out here? And which one should I start with? I think I'll try with chicken filet. Hmm, do you need to eat some sauce? Huh, it smells good. Hmm, what I have to say, it's delicious. I like it. Uh, let's try this one. Hmm, whoa, they look like very much like KFC. Mm. So spicy, what should I do? It's terrible. We need something to eat this taste off. Ah, another chicken. Mm, it helped. Mm, so juicy. Yes, this is the best chicken. I have chosen the winner. Yes, Grandma. You're the best. Ah, oh, I have to feed my granddaughter properly, am I right? I want ice cream! And I have to have different tastes in it. Uh, what? Ice cream? And how to cook ice cream? I'll look it up in Google. <sighs> My recipe book. Oh, amateurs. Ice cream is made of from cream. So to get different flavors, you just need to pour cream into different bowls. The first bowl will taste like strawberries. I'll add the berry to the cream and mix everything with a blender. The blender will grind the strawberries with the cream to a thick foam. This bowl will be green. I'll make the addition of kiwi, the technology is the same. And now I'll add blueberries to make the bowl turn blue. Oh, how beautiful! It looks like I don't have the recipe, but grandma knows everything. Hmm, think curly gray-headed girl. Oh, I know. 
I'll make it with ice molds. I'll put a berry in each one of them and pour milk. It should cover the berries. I will insert a popsicle stick into each sector. So it'll be a very convenient to pull the ice cream out of the mold. Hmm. That's it. The only thing left is to put the ice cream in the freezer for a long time. More precisely, until the milk freezes. We'll have to wait, but it's worth it. Oh, where is it? Ooh, I finally found it. A convenient and very simple recipe from TikTok. Yeah. I even have everything I need to make an ice cream. And by the way, yeah. I figured out how to make it even tastier than this recipe. I'll add some M&Ms, milk. And now I'm going to close it tightly. I'll take another bag and add ice cubes to it. I'll put the finished ice cream mixture inside and pour more cubes on top. And now, you need to close the package and shake it well. It even sounds like music. What are those sounds? This is me checking out recipe from TikTok. Come with me. Uh, what's the matter with them? Okay, let them have fun. Now, I need to grind a piece of dry ice. It's steaming so much, it's crazy. Ooh. Uh, what's happening? Why did it get so cold in here? It's all Betty with her hot cuisine recipes. Correctly noted, Ben. I cook only according to recipes of hot cuisine. Ah, uh, notice my ice cream looks exactly as Paige depicted it. Isn't that a sign of mastery? And now it remains to decorate the balls before serving with strawberries, multicolored sprinkles, and trinkles of chocolate sauce. See? That's beautiful. And it's ready. <laughs> and Grandma has everything ready, too. Yes, this is not a haughty cuisine dish, but just look at these cute sweet babies. Ooh, I wonder if it worked. Hooray! It worked! Look at that. Mm, how beautiful. What is this? Looks like I have to eat it from the back. Well, it doesn't look well, but it's quite good. What a strange ice cream. This is the first time I've seen this. Hmm, it's just ice with strawberries. Ah, oh, not sweet at all. Ooh, I finally got to you. Incredible, beautiful ice cream. Mmm, the most delicious, beautiful, just like I dreamed of. Careful, Paige. If you eat too much ice cream at once, you can freeze. But it looks like she won't be listening to me, right? Ah, uh, the most delicious. <laughs> Did you hear what she said? Yes, my ice cream is the most delicious. Victory is mine. So the heroes froze in anticipation of a new test. And this time Paige wants to eat... It'll be mac and cheese. And add more cheese. I love it very much. No problem, Paige. I'll do it in a way you like it. Except no one serves mac and cheese in restaurants. We're serving pasta. And I will cook it from Italian pasta of hard varieties. I timed it to cook the al dente pasta. Just like this. A little more time left. Ah, watch your expressions, young lady. What are you doing? Pasta should not be broken into pieces. Uh, how else will I cook it? It doesn't fit into a pot. Barely managed. Oh, I almost forgot to time it. Now I just meet. Uh, should I do something? I don't know how to cook them. Oh, it's good they write recipes on the pack. So it says to saucepan, pour it on the pack, and it'll be ready. Hmm, everything seems to be clear. Here is a saucepan, you need to pour pasta into it. Whoa, there are so many of them in a pack. Oh, here, I poured it. Oh, it was an accident. And now, you need to stir the pasta and get it thick. Done! It remains to drain the water and put the pasta on the plate. I'll make them to wipe away excess moisture. Ah, what is that sound? Oh, the pasta is cooked, that's it. Grandma puts down her kneading and proceeds to... <gasps> what do you say, Betty? Serving a dish. Yes, Grandma will need a good piece of cheese for her. Paige and I just love mac and cheese with Cheetos. This is our favorite recipe. For it, I will make a small crumb of Cheetos and pour it directly into the finished pasta. Mmm, smells so good. 
Uh, did you fall asleep while you were grating cheese, Grandma? Uh, oh, I think... Yes. Oh, no. Well, Paige asked me to add more cheese to it, so I think she'll like it. My darling, my treasure. French blue cheese with mold. Ooh, so exquisite. Mm. <sighs> oh, what stinks so bad? A uh, disgusting smell. You don't just understand anything. This is an exquisite delicacy that is eaten in high society. It will perfectly complement the taste of pasta. Uh, and not only taste, but also give them a special shade. And the dish will be complemented by fresh shrimps brought from the southern seas washing the shores of Italy. Big deal. There is nothing tastier than simpler macaroni and cheese, especially when the macaroni itself is not visible because of the cheese. I made mac and cheese with Cheetos. Hmm, delicious. Paige would rather try these than yours. And watch Paige likes, we'll find out right now. Wow, what different dishes turned out. Hmm, where should I start? Let's do this one. Hmm. Uh, what? Grandma, I think you left something on my plate. Uh, what's that? Oh, Grandma. Hmm, how strange it smells from this pasta. Ew, I wonder what they are. Why are they green? Funny, I haven't tried them yet. I'll try a little. Ugh. Oh no, what a mess! You decided to poison me or something? This is the most tasteless pasta I've ever tasted. I hope these won't be so terrible. Although you can't tell by the look of them. So delicious! Yes, I choose this pasta as the winner. Hooray! Yes, Paige, I knew you'd like it. I won! Hooray, hooray! Okay, yes, easily. During my career, I have baked as many cakes as you will ever eat. First, you need to cut the cakes properly. More precisely, you need to make an even hole in them. Then, I'll just need to glue the resulting cakes with whipped cream. Just look at it. How delicious. And now, layer after layer. Inside, I'll hide a gift that Kate will definitely be absolutely delighted with. I think it will give me a victory. The main thing is to hide my surprise well. It is best to do this behind the layers of whipped cream. You need to remember to smooth out so the cake looks so smooth. Just look at it, what a beauty. The only thing left is to decorate the cake with M&M's candies. So it will become even more beautiful and of course tastier. My granddaughter won't buy such cheap tricks as a new smartphone and a cake. She just wants a beautiful and delicious cake for her birthday. That's what I'll do for her. First, you need to knead the dough. I think everyone knows this recipe. If not, then watch my hands carefully. Yeah, perfect. Then you need to add a little cocoa. Oh. So our future cake will be a pleasant chocolate flavor. Oh. And the color is chocolate too. Look, Zach. Have you ever seen such chocolate dough? I haven't either. It's really cool. Now the cake needs to be baked. However, first you need to get rid of the dough on your hands. Grandma came up with a great idea. Kate really loves chocolate. Why don't I make her a cake out of all the chocolate bars she loves so much? It's kind of simple. Just put it all on the pan. Kinda too easy. Yeah, too easy. Well, it's time for the oven. Hey, wait for me! Zach, this is the oven. We'll put our cakes inside. How does it work? I think I got it. Ah, go away. I'll do it myself. Look, you would have set the highest temperature. You don't want to ruin the oven with your clumsy gestures, do you? 
Ta da! The cakes are ready. Just look at how pretty it is. And what a fragrance! Kate will definitely not resist this. Whoa, I also got something very pretty. Huh, cool. But, however, I would leave it in the oven for a while longer. Yeah, to make the cake cook faster, I will still increase the degrees. Grandma is no longer around anyway. My cake is ready. I hope my granddaughter will be happy with such a gift from me. It turned out to be a cake cupcake. Of course, first we must pour some water. Take some milka. Put it in the glass. And wait until it melts. Now, I'll just open the package and pour the melted chocolate on my cake. And of course, don't forget about delicious sprinkles. Yeah, right there, faster, come on! Oh, I completely forgot about the cake! I hope it's all right. Oh, what a horror. I think I went a little overboard after all. Uh, I hope I come up with something after all. Damn. Everyone has such beautiful cakes, but I only have this, oh, terrible thing. That's right. I just had a great idea. It is necessary to embellish the cake, and its disadvantages will not be obvious. Oh, it's pointless, I lost. Don't cry. Kate, it's time to choose whose cake is better. Wow, of course you all tried very hard, except for Zach. What is this overcooked piece of chocolate? Is that chocolate crust? Did he cook it on bonfire? Uh, fine, I'll try it. <gasps> Ew! Terrible! Let's move on. Grandma, your cupcake looks very beautiful. Let's see, is it as delicious as usual? Or even better? Mmm, this is the taste. I love your cupcakes, Grandma. The only thing left is to find out what Chef Tina has prepared. Surely her cake is also very nice. Oh yeah, and really, it's very tasty. Wait, what's inside? Interesting. Wow, surprise! Wow! It's a brand new iPhone! Tina, I couldn't even dream of this. Imagine now what cool pictures I can take. And what other functions are there. Oh, for sure, there are a whole bunch of cool games there. Tina, this is really cool. Thank you so much. Of course, after the work you've done, you're the one who wins. I knew I would win. My talent is evitable. Prepare a sandwich for me this time. I want to have lunch. Hooray, I can do that. Easy as pie. Easy. Kate, do you remember how many of these sandwiches I made for you before? You even took them to school. Of course, among all the sandwiches, you will choose the ones your beloved grandma cooked. According to tradition, I will put bread in the toaster. After that, it will be not hot or much more delicious. Zach, can you please help me open it? No problem. Whoa, it's peanut butter. It's so delicious. Can I try? Mmm, so good. Zach, what are you doing? It's for my sandwich. Ah, oh, fine. I won't be able to take peanut butter from you. I'll have to cook something more useful for Kate. For example, why not make a vegetable sandwich? I think she will really like this one. It will contain cucumbers, tomatoes, lettuce. In general, all the most healthy things. Yeah, but not tasty at all. Kate, don't worry. This time, I'll make you the most delicious sandwich. By the way, it's not very difficult to do it. First, you need to grate some cheese. Show me a person who doesn't like cheese, right? There are simply no such people. So this is a universal way to treat anyone. Now a little magic. Cheese needs to be tinted with food paint. It will be very beautiful. But that's not all. Now we have to paint each cheese plate in different colors. Next, you need to cut out hearts from pieces of bread. This way, pieces will be not only delicious, but also cute and beautiful. Put the cheese on the bread in a rainbow order. 
now it's time to bake these sandwiches. Whoa, even I would try this. Of course, because I'm a master of my craft. The resulting hearts are laid on a cabbage leaf. Everything is ready. I'm almost done too. Okay, I agree with Tina. Healthy sandwiches aren't very tasty, so I have to add some ham. And I'll also allow myself to add a little ketchup. That's better. So good. Oh, right! Sandwiches! Everyone has already prepared everything. And I just got carried away with this peanut butter. Ugh, oh, the one who has to save me. This paste is just so delicious that combining it with bread resulting sandwich will be not equal. But I'll add some banana too. That's right. So more appetizing Christ appears in the bread. I'll just carterize it a little. With iron? Why not? Granny, look what I've come up with. Interesting, but where does the burnt stink come from? Zach, it's all your iron! Oh no! How sloppy I am! I burnt my dish again! Ugh. Zach, you need to pay attention. I still have a chance. I don't even know where to start. Everything looks so delicious. Zach, did you overdo it on fire again? What have you prepared for me? It's just impossible to eat. Disgusting. I could have tried a little longer. No, this abdomination is no good. Let's see how grandma surprises me. That's what I get. This is a sandwich. The most delicious sandwich I've ever tasted. I just need to try Tina's sandwich now. Whoa, so bright. And all the colors of rainbow. Inside. Whoa, cool. It's also incredibly delicious. I'm absolutely thrilled. But still, Grandma's sandwich seems to be more appetizing. I'm sorry, Tina. Hooray, finally I want to. Make a chocolate bear this time. I want a delicious teddy bear. Something new. I hope I can handle it. And I already have an idea. I'm going to need Oreo cookies to make it happen. First, you need to get rid of the cream between the cookies. Mmm, how delicious it is after all. Now you need to crumble the cookies. The main thing is not to eat this yummy ahead of time. Next, I will need Nutella. Mmm, such a fragrance. I need to try it first. I need to mix it thoroughly with Oreo crumbs and get a sticky mass. Nutella? Hmm, it's a good idea. I will add some Nutella to my dough too, so it'll become more chocolate and therefore more delicious. Now I get to beat this dough well with the mixer. Oh, so long. Let's try mixer. That's better. Yeah, Grandma, you cooked the dough for a very long time. Mine is already ready. I pour some natural cocoa into it. I also want to make the dough chocolate. After all, the bear should be brown. Ooh, well, my chocolate mess of this Oreos and Nutella is ready. It was necessary to make teddy bear out of it. <laughs> Zach, you don't know how to sculpt at all. How to cook, too. Watch and learn. I have the pancake batter almost ready. It needs to be poured into a bottle so that the later it will be easier to squeeze it into a frying pan. Just look at how beautiful it turned out. These are really edible bears. Kate will be absolutely thrilled. I could also stick candy eyes on a bear. They can be tastier than your berries. It's all nonsense. The bear must be big. It needs to be baked. 
it is the best to do it with a burner. Whoa, what's the flame? I like it. Ooh, let's see. Oh, I wanted to make cookies, but I completely forgot that the dough swells. What have I done? Well, bad luck. How clumsy I am, how could I forget? Whoa, your bears are so cute. Except for that, Tina. It's kind of creepy. I hope it's at least delicious. Ugh, a nightmare. Is it even possible to crack it? How does it even exist? Apparently nothing. Well, let's see what grandma has prepared for me. These are teddy bear pancakes. How lovely. Yeah, they're wonderful. Mmm, good. Now let's see what Zach came up with. Oh, it's very cool. I didn't expect such a chocolate bear. Zach, congratulations, you're an obvious victory. Finally, how long have I been waiting for this? Hooray, I won, I won, I won! I'm happy for him. So, I want a cake with my favorite Skittles candies. Easily, the main thing here is not to spare sweets. We need to decorate it with them. As much as possible, the service of a cake. It's gonna be so colorful. And to keep the candy from falling, I'll do something else. To do this, I need to prepare the dough. You take the flour, milk, and eggs. And now you mix it very well. Almost done. Only thing left is to knead it well and cut it into long slices. Just like this. Look how wonderful it is. I will cover the candy with the resulting strips. And after that, the cake will go into the oven. What a great chef I am. Now you can take a break. Lips while cooking. This is irresponsible. Well, how do you like my cake? Just look at how bright and smooth it is, but it's not all. I want the whole cake to become bright and colorful. To do this, I need a hair dryer, with which I will melt the paint of the Skittles candies. Perfect! The only thing left is to resort sweets. Bellissimo. Yeah. Just some more here. Ah, uh, I think the cake is ready. Ah, uh, it's time to take it out. I'm sure Betty will definitely like this miracle. I shouldn't have done it for so long. How do you like my sculpture here? I think it's the best thing I've ever done. Oh yeah, stop. I also need to cook. Ah, uh, so what am I waiting for? We urgently need to decorate the cake with sweets. To do this, I use Skittles too. But with a gun. Let's do it. Oh no, how to, how to manipulate it. Ah! Uh, ta-da. I think it's ready. Betty, it's time to choose who will be the winner. Bon appetit. Oh, the cakes are very beautiful. Except for the Emma's. Maybe it means that it's very tasty? Well, no. An ordinary cake. Let's see what awaits me in the middle. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. And a completely different matter. Very tasty, Grandma. The one that's left is Chef Zack's cake. It looks, of course, unrealistically cool. Mmm, wow. it tastes just as cool. I wish I could eat every candy as soon as possible. It's just unrealistically delicious. Zack, you won. Uh, yeah, I knew I was going to win. This time, I want a watermelon cake. This is a very interesting challenge to my culinary skills. I hope I will come up with a way to make a watermelon cake from a whole watermelon. 
I know for sure that first you need to get the rid of the excess peel. For the cake, I'll use the pulp. Just like this. It's so easy. And it will not be a trouble. See? Now, you need to cut the watermelon into so-called cakes. Ooh, I probably won't bother so much. With watermelon, everything is much easier. It's just enough to cut it in half and stir the little gelatin inside. But first, we need to put out the pulp. And now, only then you add some gelatin. The main thing is to do everything very, very carefully. Grandma, it was so cool. Well, I'll smash a watermelon with a diamond pickaxe. Be careful! Uh, stop it, everything is flying around. Excuse me, I've been playing too much. But don't worry, the watermelon's almost finished. Just look at how appetizing this part is. But serving Betty on ordinary watermelon is not the case. It'll be much cooler if I decorate a watermelon with various goodies. Then it'll be much more like a cake. Just look at it, marshmallows are so cool. And gummy bears? Yay! Uh, you call it a cake? That's pathetic. The real cake should consist of several layers. Therefore, it is important to pay attention to this aspect and glue the watermelon slices with a special cream. The cream needs to be leveled. And it would also be nice to add some color. Hmm, my cake will be green from the bottom and red on the top. Great color combination for a watermelon cake. Hmm, doesn't look bad. But I have my watermelon jelly ready. So none of you would have guessed how to cook a watermelon cake. Of course not, because my cake is much tastier. Not only I painted it to look like a real watermelon, I also made eyes. So look how cute it turned out. Betty, it's time to choose which cake you want. Hooray! Emma, what did you do? Just poking candy into a watermelon? This is of course requires effort, right? And others tried much more. Man, it tastes so-so. I've tasted better ones. Let's see what Chef Zack has prepared for me. Hmm, the cake looks stunning. So good. But is it delicious? Hmm, this cake is simply incredible. The only thing left is to try what my beloved grandma has prepared for me. Judging by the texture, I think it's jelly. Hmm, so funny. Yay, Grandma! You've outdone everyone today! Ah, uh, hooray. I was hoping for it. This time, prepare me a cake with a doll. I think it will be an interesting challenge. Uh, it's going to be hard. In fact, everything is much simpler. Didn't you see? It's me! Ah, I have an idea how to embody you, Betty. Right on the cake. With these fruits, it'll be very easy. I'll use kiwi. And then, even more fruits to decorate my beloved granddaughter. Just look at it. So cute! The only thing left is to do the hair. And you can serve it! It's a cool idea, but it doesn't look like Betty at all. I also love fruits and berries very much, but it's too late to chat. It's time to start working on the cake. To do this, I will first need my hands. Of course, what kind of face without eyes? You need to slap your eyes and eat the cake. Here are my marmalade eyes. And these ones I'll use to put some mouth on her face. I think it's so adorable. The only thing left is to add some hair, and it's ready! Uh, it looks disgusting, like a scarecrow. Before I start working, I need to change the shape of the cake and make it round. I dealt with it very quickly. Now I'm going to need a doll. 
that I'm going to put in the cake. The cake will look very much like a huge chick dress. Just need to finish it. Of course, cream or wipe cream is perfect for this job. But it's plastic, it's not edible. Uh, stop talking to me. Do your cake. So, the only thing left is to pour sweet syrup into a special mold, which will make it very beautiful. Oh, yeah. Perhaps this is my favorite moment of cooking. I love it when someone shows off their cake like that. Just some sprinkles. Yeah, voila. Well, let's go. I'm sure this dress will be irresistible. Ah, Patty, have a nice meal. Wow, I'm delighted with every cake. But I'll start with the one from Grandma. Her cake looks unrealistically delicious. Let's see if it's true. Yes, it's so good. But something's missing. Emma, what did you cook? Why does this case have such a scary face? No, it's definitely not like me. I hope this cake is at least delicious. Mm, usually it's been tastier. Okay. The only thing left is to find what Zach cooked. Oh, wow. It's really the coolest. Because I really look like a doll. Well, let's try it if it's delicious enough. Hmm. This is unreal. Zach, congratulations on your victory! So cool! Oh yeah, it was easy. I wish I could eat something delicious right now. Some pasta would be the perfect snack for me. That's my signature dish. That'll be easy. Pasta? I have no idea how to make that. First, you need to cook the spaghetti. Okay, I'll just repeat after everyone else. And something will work out. Probably won't need this rope. I'll just put everything in the boiling water. Dang it, doesn't fit in the pot. Gonna have to squish it in. Just watch Granny Teddy. She knows how to cook. We put the spaghetti in the water. And wait for it to warm up. And voila! Everything fits in the pan. And it turned out just perfect. Are you serious? That doesn't look like pasta at all. Professionals cook differently. You've got a lot to learn from me. Kate, you can't surprise us with your tricks. We'll see about that later. First, you need to make the pasta yourself from scratch. For that, I'll need some eggs and flour. Now we mix everything together. I love this, it's so relaxing. Okay, the dough is ready. Time to roll it out. I have to put a little effort into it, but I don't mind. Nothing I can't handle. My pasta's ready, time to boil it. Most of the work's already been done. Now I'm gonna take care of the seafood. Jess is gonna love this pasta. Bellissimo! The most delicious thing about pasta is the cheese. What are you doing, Ted? I'm trying to get my macaroni out. It's stuck. Dang it, that didn't work. Time to give up and try something else. I came up with an idea. I can use some gum. I'm gonna make some sweet pasta. And decorate it with chocolate sauce. Super! I wouldn't mind eating this myself. Well, well, let's see what we've got here. Oh, shrimp. I'd like to try that, it looks delicious. And it smells good. It's pretty good, but nothing special. Ooh, there's a lot of cheese here, I like that. And the pasta's all stuck together. Although, that's a pretty good thing. Now I can take a big bite at once. 
Whoa, this is chewing gum. Cool. This tastes so good. I think the winner's pretty obvious. It's this sweet pasta dish. I did it! I'm starting to get good at this. Be patient, Ted. The next dish is already on the picture. A hot dog? That's easy. Hey, what are you doing? Do you really need to fry the sausages? Thought you could just eat them. Ted, you're so silly. You can't eat raw sausages. Looks like I gotta play by some new rules. I'll take this oil if you don't mind. Hey, what's this thing here? Don't need that. I'll just pour it in the pan and I'm done. And I'll put it on high. This isn't gonna end well. All right, it's all warmed up. Time to fry. Don't do that, Teddy. Hey, what's this? Oh, why didn't you tell me earlier? Take that. That's it, I gotta get rid of this frying pan. It's trying to kill me. Okay, everything's fine now. Next time, ask before doing something like that. What's that smell? Ooh, perfectly roasted. Time to send this sausage straight to a bun. And we'll add a little bit of mustard, and we'll be done. Ooh, it's very spicy. Just the thing. It looks perfect. Ted, what's going on? Well, I tried roasting the sausage with a gas burner. I did really good, didn't I? What amateurs. Who let you guys into a kitchen? I don't even know. Watch and learn. First, I'm gonna make the dough. This is simple enough. Eggs, milk, and flour. Now I'll mix it all together. Super, just what I needed. Now I'll take the sausage with some cheese. And I'll put them on the skewers. Perfect. I already like this. And in a small saucepan, I'll pour some oil for frying. Now I'm gonna fry my hot dog. Just a little bit left. Time to dip the sausage in and roll it around in some chips. That'll make it extra crispy. Now I'll dip it in the oil and wait for it to fry. Ready? Watch and be jealous. Finally, I add some sauces. Ketchup and mustard. Kate, that looks wonderful. Hey, I'm not done yet. I need some more sauces. Now this is turning out great. Sorry, but I don't think so. I'll be the one to decide that. So, what's this? Looks like a mess. Ugh, gross. But this is pretty good. I really like the taste of this. It's pretty normal, but the dough's good. There's just not enough fillings. Let's check out this third option. Whoa, check out that crust, I like it. This smells so good. Just from the first impressions alone, it's divine. This is the best thing I've ever tried. Congratulations. Hooray, just like my dish. I don't understand why we need so many fruits and vegetables. It's simple, Ted. You need to make a smoothie. Go ahead and use everything on the table. I'm sure I'll make the best smoothie. We'll see about that. I've already won this. Time to repeat my success. I'll need all the sweets here. Just can't resist them, you'll see. Chocolate bars, gummies, candy. What could be better? Now I need to add in some soda. This is gonna be a sweet explosion. Hey, where's the button? Time to whip this up nice and good. Let's go. I'm not sure it's safe to eat that many sweets. On the other hand, if you cook with vegetables, it can be really healthy. To do this, I'm gonna need these vegetables. As many vegetables as possible. This onion smells so good, just lovely. Wow, and the cucumbers are crunchy. Oh, I almost forgot about the tomatoes. They add a little sweetness. Now I'll put everything in the blender and blend it up really good. And finally add some greens. My healthy smoothie's almost ready. Just no. one sip and Jess is gonna feel right as rain. You'll see. How gross. Yeah. I'm afraid to imagine what that drink's gonna taste like. I feel bad for Jess. I'll make her something delicious. I'll take this watermelon. That's a good base for anything. 
Now we'll cut off the top and put it in a blender. Now we turn the power on high. Then I'll use the watermelon as a bowl. I'll scoop some kiwis into there and some other fruits. Now I'll add a little bit of coconut milk. This is great! Now I'll put in a straw so you can try it. Do you like it? Jess, we're all set! Time to make your choice! Give me your smoothies! Wow, they're all so different! They don't look alike at all! I wonder what's here? It doesn't look very good. I even say it looks disgusting. Ugh, it's too sweet! I don't like it! And that slush scares me! It doesn't look like a very good color. I'm scared to even try it. Oh, I almost threw up! This last smoothie looks pretty cute. Especially compared to the rest of them. I'll take a closer look. Wow, my name's written on it. That's so cute. And the taste didn't disappoint me. Great. Whoever made this drink won. I want more. It was me again. Wow. What are these, just blank cakes? You're not very bright, Teddy. But you are right this time. I want a cake. A cake is a piece of cake! This is my signature recipe. Jess is gonna love it. First, I need to make the frosting. I'll break some eggs and leave just the whites. We don't need the yolks yet. Now we're gonna whip it up into a nice foam. And we'll add some sugar to make it sweet. Time to kick up the heat. Now I'll show you how to work with a whisk. Now the whites are all whipped up, just like I said. The cream's totally ready. Time to cover up this cake. It fits perfect. It came out a little crooked, but it's still cute. Now I'll cover the top with cream. Otherwise it won't look finished. Oh, it's so lovely. I'll add some sprinkles. And some fragrant strawberries just from the garden. Wow, Grandma, that's not bad. It's not for you, Ted. Okay, okay. I'd better finish my own cake. Some gummy bears and chocolate sauce. That's the perfect combination. And I've already tried that before. I won with it before. It should help me now. I'll cover the top with another cake. And then I'll pour on some berry sauce. I think this is coming out great. These little chocolate candies will fill in the rest. <laughs> Kate's doing something weird again. <laughs> Laugh however much you want. Let's see what you'll be laughing at when I finish my dessert. First, I need to make the caramel. I'll show you a really quick trick. I promise you'll be amazed. I'll pour caramel all over this balloon, and then I'll deflate it. And now I cut. Voila! We've got an edible dessert bowl. How do you like that? Not so funny anymore. Now I'll take the sponge cakes and some whipped cream. It may look simple, but it's really tasty. Look at how tasty that cream flows. I have to stop myself from trying it. Now let's add some strawberry toppings. That's it, all done. Wow, that's really great, Kate. We'll see who wins. Wow. So many cakes. My eyes are racing. I was dreaming of this from the very beginning. Let's try this small one first. It's so cute. You know, I think there's too much cream here. I take it back, it's perfect. I wonder what this big cake tastes like compared to the small one. Ooh, I know, this is Grammy style. Oops, I think I took too big of a bite, but it was totally worth it. Yummy. I got no words. I want to put this in my mouth right now. All right, I need to make my way to the last cake. He's been waiting for me. The candy on top, original. Wow. This tastes so good, it's so tasty. I don't know which to choose. Each cake is so good. But I think I like Grandma's cake the most. I knew it! Thank you, my girl! Congrats! What are we going to do in the first round? It's very simple. I'm hungry, so I want a sweet sandwich. Easy. It's easy to do. Even a child can handle it. By the way, about children, each of us loves sweets since childhood, so Susie came up with a great idea to make a sweet sandwich. For example, with Nutella. Damn, I got all dirty in this paste. Come on, toaster. 
I don't have much time. Uh, <laughs> come on. Grandma, what are you doing? What is this ancient method you got? There's a toaster. Big deal. No one will fry bread the way I will. It's time for peanut butter. A little grandma's jam wouldn't hurt either. Hmm, how lovely. And why does it smell burnt in here? Oh, uh, Susie, it's all your robot! It's not a robot, it's a toaster! I don't even know what's wrong with him! Oh no. It seems like I failed the toast. Oops. What are you doing? Don't you know how to make a really cool toast? For this, you need a little grated cheese and bright dyes. Just like that. Look how beautiful it is. But that's not all. Toast needs to be fried. Doing it in a frying pan is boring and now at all refined. Where did he go? The real toast should be fried just above the volcano. Yes, just like that. Done. Jess, it's time to choose a winner. Let's start with the first sandwich. It looks cooler than the rest. Whoa, what a cool stretching cheese. Mmm, very tasty. Wow, let's see what's next. Oh, and what is that? Ugh, disgusting. Uh, it tastes like coal! This sandwich looks much more appetizing and it smells much better. Mmm, yummy! Grandma, you've won! Thank you, Jess. I knew you loved me. Now I want pancakes. This is my favorite thing to do. Don't even hope to beat me. No one can cook pancakes better than me. It's time to knead the dough. <laughs> Grandma, do you think I can't make the dough? That's easy. You just need to pile everything into one deep plate. Yeah, see? Great. Turned out wonderful. Oh, why bother so much? There is a mixer. It will help me bid this dough well. Let's see. Whoa, I didn't know it was so fast. And how do I get it out of the dough now? Come on, stupid device. Susie, you gave up very quickly, honey. But I just have to bake pancakes. Oh. Yes, and the smell is just wonderful. My legendary pancakes are ready. The only thing left is some butter. Let's mix this. Oh, I accidentally got you dirty, I'm sorry. Watch and learn what real pancakes should look like. We shouldn't forget about the beauty on the outside. And now I'll draw a funny face. Do you recognize this cutie? Well, uh, just in a few seconds, I got a form of kissy Missy head. Uh, but tasty one. Well, I got nothing left but to just use ordinary bread. But we only need insides. <laughs> I think these are just cute circles I have. 
And now let's just add some whipped cream. Everybody likes them. I'm ready. Jess, it's time to vote. Wow, is it a pancake in the form of Kissimmee's you had? Wow, so cool. Ah, uh, it's quite tasty, by the way. And what's this? It looks like ordinary white bread. Well, and it is. Oh, well, it's definitely not pancakes. But pancakes in the middle look delicious. Mmm, what a scent. Oh my god, I haven't tasted anything better before. Really? Again, Grandma? Oh, I'm out. Loser.